G'day Taurus, welcome to TJ Tarot Down Under. Gonna do the love energy coming towards you as at now. See what's going on, hey? Ooh, nearly lose my sign. So yeah, the, I did the lo new love readings and the um, reconciliation readings, they're up. I think I'll only do those maybe once a month or maybe once a fortnight or something like that. <laughs> we'll see. Anyway, back to the love energy coming towards you reading. <laughs> so this is a general reading. Take what resonates, leave the rest. If it doesn't resonate at all, you can check out your other placements or check out my playlist and see if there's something that resonates more with your current timeline. Cross watches, this could be your energy. If not, it will be somebody else's. So keep that in mind. Thank you all for your likes, shares, subscribes, views. Every single one of them is so greatly appreciated. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Every single one of you. And of course, the decks I'm using today <clears throat> will be listed in the description box below in the order that I am using them. All right, let's go. Taurus. Message for Taurus is... It's safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Playfulness to recapture romance. Allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. So it's safe for you to open up and be a bit playful. Ooh, codependencies. Afflictions are affecting your romantic life. Something you need to look at there. Some sort of codependency. Are you buying too many shoes? <laughs> mm. And true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. Do you have um, an addiction to finding true love? Um, hmm. It'll just happen when it's meant to, mate. Yeah, playfulness. Yeah, but it is safe for you to open up and start checking people out. Well, it says let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. Maybe go to some friends that have the relationship, the type of relationship you're looking for, and ask them how they found each other. Yeah. Don't go to someone who's, yeah. Again, let your friends help you. Um, maybe there's someone that, you know, maybe your friends can hook you up with someone. Who's reliable. Um, but yeah, don't go to someone who's doesn't have what you want. Go to someone who does have what you want. It's like you don't go to the ice cream man to ask them about brain surgery. <clears throat> yeah. So, yeah, maybe your friends know someone. Okay. All right. Love energy coming towards Taurus. Give us three cards, please. That's one. Yeah, that's just one. Two. Ooh. Okay, one more, please. There it is. they have I don't take reversals if you're new to the channel I let the cards jump and I don't take reversals okay so they have chemistry there's a strong magnetic attraction here on oh, my nails four of them break in two days so excuse them all for being short they'll grow back anyway so they've got a strong magnetic attraction to you Ooh, they're feeling that chemistry Taurus Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. So they're releasing something, some past energy that needs to be cleared, possibly from an ex. And calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations and visualizations help bring you together. So they're trying to call you in, seeing you as a soulmate. Perhaps they are the ex that released you. They still feel that chemistry. Mm, or you release them. <coughs> trying to call you back in. This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek, so they see you as the one. Religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. So something to do with their belief systems when it comes to love. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. And you deserve love. You are lovable. So they know they deserve love. They know you deserve love. That you are both lovable. 
they have these romantic feelings for you. There's something about their upbringing or spiritual paths, their belief systems in love. They're thinking you could be the one. You've already met this person. They not already know you. It could be an ex. I don't know, though. Or they could just be releasing an ex to call you in. Finally removing that energy of the past to call you into the present. Alright, let's find out a bit more. Message, ooh. For Taurus. Is. Five of Pentacles, ooh. Two of Swords. Ace of Wands and Seven of P Cups. Leaving something out in the cold. Anybody that is undecided, you'll leave them out in the cold. You're looking for a passionate beginning, new beginning here with someone. Maybe you have lots of options. You could be confused. Mm, holding back your love a bit. King of Cups. Got a lot of love to give, but not showing it, but wanting to take action on it. Not sure who to give it to here. Wanting that passionate new beginning. But undecided about leaving something out in the cold. Hmm. You're leaving people who are undecided out in the cold. Yeah, you're trying to manifest all new here with the magician. Everything new. All four aces in one, this is. Yeah, you're trying to manifest new. All new beginnings, but you're confused about it. Yeah, well, you've got lots of options, but you're not showing your emotions here. Again, that King of Cups water energy. Hmm, there's confusion here about how to go about it. I think that's why I think that Let Your Friends Help You came out a few times. Okay, let's get to them. Tell me about chemistry for this love energy coming towards Taurus, please. Page of Wands, fire energy and judgment. Ooh, could be someone in the past wanting a second chance. Someone's still feeling the chemistry between you two. <clears throat> wanting to send that passionate message to you, but worried about what you're going to think. Worried about mm, what your judgment call will be on that. So feeling the chemistry, wanting to send you a flirty message. Possibly wanting to reconcile if it is an ex. Then we got the King of Wands, fire energy again. Controlling their passions and their actions. Mastered that element. Very charismatic. Can be a bit egotistical. Goes after what they want. I'm getting that they feel this chemistry. They send this flirty message wondering what you're possibly wanting to reckon. They know exactly what they're doing. They know they're totally in control. They're acting a bit immature, a bit flirty, but they know exactly what they want here. And it is to reconcile. King of Pentacles, Earth Energy, Strength Card, The Chariot, and The Ten of Pentacles, yeah. They want... Long-term stability, commitment. Someone, they've mastered the, the, the element of the pentacles as well. They're financially stable. They know how to, it could be a boss that runs a business. Um, yeah, but they, the, the pentacles couple, king and queen, are the committing type. They do marry 
and commit the king of wands not so much um, so they're stable and grounded wanting commitment here trying to get the courage to move forward to have this long-term stability with you the king and queen of pentacles live in the ten of pentacles house so wanting that long-term stability with you hoping this will move forward trying to get the courage up to offer show you that stability Ooh, okay yep. still feeling that chemistry for you seven of cups oh they're a bit confused maybe they think you have other options too they're confused you're confused daydreaming about you i'm hearing they're daydreaming about you still feeling that chemistry mm, wanting to move to karma waters with you too all right tell me about release your ex for this love, love energy coming towards taurus please Okay. Alright, we have all the star, the two of pentacles, and the four of swords. Ooh, wow. <sighs> Got healing on either side of this healing and a wish fulfillment or wishing juggling or indecision here. And the healing again, or a lot, a lot of thought and meditation. So this could be the ex that you were released. Their wish is to come back here. We've got reconciliation as well um, with the judgment card. Um, they're not sure how to do it, how to heal this. All they wish is to come back, but their 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 emotions are all over the place. It's I'm in an error about how they don't know how to heal this. They want to come back, but they don't know how to heal this, and for it to be successful, six of wands. They want your attention too. They miss your attention, the attention that you gave them, Taurus. They want that stability, possibly a commitment here. Four of wands. Queen of Pentacles, that's you, Taurus. Loving and stable. Loving because it's a queen energy. Stable being a pentacle. So we saw the king before, he's the queen. Hierophant wanting that commitment. The sun because you make them happy. You are their happiness. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. I know, my singing's terrible. Anyway, yeah. You make me happy. And skies so grey. Yeah, they want to apologise. They want you are their sunshine. You are their happiness. They want commitment here. They want this that loving, committed energy that you give, and to have this stability. Wow. So it looks like your ex wants to come back, but they don't know how to heal it. Hmm. Because mm, worried you're going to reject their offer. Or because they rejected your offer before. Tell me about calling in your soulmate. For the love energy coming towards Taurus, please. Okay. They have... Ooh, the Eight of Swords. The Eight of Pentacles. Two Eights. And the Queen of Cups. Water Energy. Best love in the deck. Look at that cup. It's amazing. It's the best love that anyone can give or receive. Oh, got the hiccups. So they're calling you in. They're trying to call you in with their prayers and affirmations and visualizations, trying to bring you two together. Because all they do is think about you. They're, I'm getting that Lionel Richie song again. I'm sure it's Lionel Richie that's stuck on you. And that's the only bit I know. <laughs> that's the only bit I'm getting. Is this stuck on you? And I'm a singing. Yeah, don't sing, girl. Don't sing. <laughs> but I want to at least get the tune out so you know what the song is in case you want to look it up. But yeah, they're stuck on you. Calling you in. Working really hard. 
I'm calling you in. Lots of prayers, affirmations and visualising working together with you because they miss your beautiful love. Or they want to give you this beautiful love. This beautiful love for Taurus. Mm. Knight of Pentacles, Earth Energy. Wanting this to move forward. Taking actions of stability. But they're slow. They're slow. But they want to show you this stability that they want to offer you. Taking actions of stability. They want to show you they can be stable. We saw that King of Pentacles. They saw the Queen of Pentacles. So you could be either of those and they want to be the, the other one. And then we've got the Page of Pentacles again. Earth energy. All this earth energy. Nine of Pentacles. Page of Cups. Water energy. And the Sun. So they want to see you in person. Possibly give you a gift. Um, but to a communication of stability here about how they're single, stable, independent now because maybe they weren't before. Wanting to apologise or offer this cup of love, a message of love because you are their happiness. They've realised now that you are the one. You are the one that makes them happy. Wow, Taurus. I'm Taurus rising, so I like this. <laughs> mm. All right. Message for Taurus is hummingbird joy, lighten up. So, um, spend some time just enjoying yourself. Don't take everything so seriously. Mm. Especially when it comes to this love. Just en enjoy the joy. Um, surrender. Let go of control. Yeah. If you're trying to keep everything under control, you need to lighten up and bring some joy. Rabbit. Fertility. Your creativity is at a peak. Um, oh, that's the otter, of course. <laughs> Um, yeah, be a bit more creative with something. And kangaroo, kanga, gratitude, be careful, uh, sorry, be grateful for all you are blessed with. Yeah, show gratitude for all that you do have. And that way, that's the energy that will bring in more. So show that gratitude for all the good things that you do have. There might be something new that you're wanting to create here. Birth a new idea. Um, but yeah, let go of controlling things. Surrender that energy of trying to control somebody else's things you can't control. And just make time for some joy in your life. That's what this person... Or this, you know, that's what brings love in, that joy energy. Okay. But keep your boundaries up and stand your ground. So, you know, don't forget your self-worth. Okay. So, let's see. The love energy coming towards Taurus. Give me three gold cards about them, please. What else can you tell us about them? Ooh, the one. Two. Oh, it's gone on the floor. Let me get that. <sighs> okay, one more, please. Oh, lucky it nearly went on the floor. <laughs> There's three. All right. Oh, sorry. So they have 
Squirrel. Secret Squirrel. Preparation. Get ready for big changes. Ooh, they're preparing for things to change. Making preparations for something. Porcupine. Innocence. Free yourself of guilt and shame. Hmm... They want to free themselves of the guilt and shame they feel for whatever they did that caused this breakup. And turtle retreats, stop trying to make something happen. So you know they've got their con you know they've got to let go of control too. Let's take a sip of drink. Yeah, so they retreat and stop trying to make something happen here. Hmm, interesting. Bottom of the deck, they've got Fox Adaptability. Adapt to the changes that are happening. Kangaroo Gratitude, be grateful for all you are blessed with. Cougar Confidence, be bold and take charge. And Rabbit Fertility, your creativity is at a, it's, is at a peak. So, similar cards to you. With the Gratitude and the Rabbit. Um... So I think, you know, they're making changes. They're adapting to the changes, making changes here. They totally now are so grateful for now seeing the gratitude of how good you were. Making changes because they they want that back. They now see how good you are. So they're building up their confidence. They're going to be bold and take charge and they're trying to look for a creative way to approach you. Mm. All right. Let's keep going. Yeah, I use d different decks because, I, in case that um, I like when we have the cards come out of one deck and then another deck, the same cards come out. Always helps to confirm certain energies. All right, message for Taurus is 10 of cups, happily ever after. The strength card, Oop, the star, and the three of cups, wow. So you want this happily ever after, but you're taming your beast and you're holding back, staying strong. You've done your healing, but you also wish to reconcile with this person. Yeah, hoping the wheel's going to turn in your favour and you'll be able to celebrate the healing of this, but you're holding back because you want to make sure this is that Ten of Cups. Yeah, there's got to be the healing done between you two. Both got that star. And they've got the four of swords, so they know. But there's got to be some healing between you two, yeah. Because you left them out in the cold. Alright. Yeah, because the tower came down. Yeah. Alright. Tell me about the squirrel preparation for this love energy coming towards Taurus, please. No, it said no. It's just the deck's a bit too thick to shuffle the whole thing at once. Tell me about the squirrel, please. Okay. Ooh. That's a lot. Alright. That's a lot. Okay, so they've got the Four of Swords. That one that was the first card that came out. So they're preparing to heal this. Getting ready for the changes. Preparing to heal. Then we've got the Queen of Cups. That water energy. That, that awesome love. That beautiful, awesome love. This is what they want back. So they want to heal things and get that beautiful, awesome love back. And then the pile that came out, we've got the Ace of Wands, the Fool, the Ace of Swords, Two of Pentacles, 
Ten of Swords, the World, Queen of Swords, Air Energy, and the Queen of Pentacles, Earth Energy. So they're making preparations. They want this new passionate beginning. They want to take that leap of faith and tell you the truth with the Ace of Swords. But they're not sure how you're going to take it. Is it going to cause a painful ending here or will you just close out that cycle and have a new beginning together? Yeah, they're really unsure. Yeah, speaking the truth about that painful ending, closing out the cycle, ending that old cycle between you two. So have a new one. But will you cut them out or will there be commitment here? They know they've got to come correctly or you will cut them out again. So they've got to come with stability and a grounded offer of love. A real stable offer of committed love. So this is what they're preparing for. What's at the bottom? Nine of Wands, but oh, they feel like a wounded warrior about it. They're really guarded about it. They've got their walls up, but they haven't given up. They have not given up. I'm reconciling this and healing this. They're tired, but they're but they're doing the, all this preparation because I think they're tired of having this wall up and not having your love. They really want this to heal so that they can show you this love with actions of love. The Prince of Cups, Knight of Cups, Princess of Cups, Page of Cups, Water Energy with both of them. Um, messages of love, apologies, actions of love. The Moon and the Five of Swords, but they're afraid that they've sabotaged this too badly. Yeah, they're worried that... that that's, yeah, there was too much, that they've sabotaged it too too badly to heal. So they're, they're scared. They want to apologise and show you this love, but they're scared. That, yeah. So they're trying to prepare. We do have three queens here, so a lot of it's being done from the heart. I'm not getting that they're different people. Because queens more come from the heart and the kings, yeah, well, there's the king of cups. I was going to use that king of wands, but water energy, it comes more from the mind and mastering the element. So, you know, they're holding back a lot. They've got a lot of love for you. The king to the queen, they see you as their counterpart, that's for sure, in love. But they've mastered that element in a way that they're controlling their emotions. They're not showing anything right now. They want to once it's healed, but not right now. Yeah, because they're, they're feeling stuck. All right, tell me about porcupine innocence for this love energy coming towards a Taurus, please. Come on, you can talk. Yeah, what's wrong? Come on. Thank you. Whoa. Okay. They have the Ten of Cups, the Six of Swords, the Sun, the King of Pentacles, it's a King to the Queen, Earth Energy, the Three of Cups, and the Death Card. Hmm. So... Free yourself of guilt and shame. Okay. Yeah. So they knew they had this happily ever after, after the fact. Um, 
yeah, they realise now that yous aren't together that you were there happily ever after and they feel that guilt and shame over that. But they want to move to calmer waters on from that and get this happiness back with you. They definitely want that stability and commitment with you for sure. They want to reconcile and transform this into the love they used to have with you. And appreciate it this time, I think. They do feel that guilt for letting this end. If there was a third party, which I'm not really feeling it, but, I mean, there are a lot of queens here. Um, they've ended that. If that was your case, you will already know about it. Um... But they want commitment to reconcile you or their happiness. They want to move to calmer waters with you because they realise, yeah, that they ended things with the wrong, you know, you were the, it's that old saying, you don't know what you've got till it's gone. The devil. They feel chained to you, but, um, yeah, it's an obsession almost. They still feel the connection. They can't break free from it. They're aware of the toxicity that was between you two. And they feel the guilt and shame of that toxicity that they created. Their part in it. No one's innocent in a rib breakup. Princess of Wands or Page of Wands fire energy, Queen of Wands fire energy, King of Wands fire energy, wow. And the Prince of Swords air energy. Wow. So we've got the couple here, the King and Queen of Wands. I think they want to send you a floating message because they still know that you two are still passionate about each other it's a match with the wands yeah they want to send this flirty message to see if you still to still both feel that passion between each other so they can come charging in full pelt to speak that truth that they need to speak about that guilt and shame Alright, yeah, but they've got a lot of fear about doing that. Alright, tell me about the turtle retreat. Do love energy coming towards Taurus, please? Oh, they're really slow at talking, aren't they? The High Priestess. Wow. So retreat. Stop trying to make something happen. I think their instincts are telling them to retreat and stop trying to make something happen here. I'm getting secretly they're retreating. They've retreated. And they're not gonna they stop they're gonna they've stopped trying to like make her something happen. I think they're just gonna let it unfold naturally here and trust their instincts on this. So they've backed off a little bit. Hmm, could be keeping secrets, but no. Nah. They want to let the wheel turn on this. They're going to, yeah, they're going to retreat. I think they're preparing to come in to heal this. But they they have retreated to let the time go by. And they're trusting their instincts on when will be the right time to come and heal this. But, yeah, they're waiting for divine timing, waiting for the right time, letting some time go by. 
Ace of Cups, because they want this love with you. Ace, brand new, beginning in love with you. Knight of Pentacles, Earth Energy, the Strength card, and the Star, yeah. They want this beautiful new beginning in love with you. They're offering a cup that is so full. It's full with their own love, but there's so much pouring out that they want to give to you. They want to come in slow and steady, but they're they're yeah they're 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 really slow. They want to show you this stability, but they're really slow. There's that love again. I've got Queen of Cups here twice, Ace of Cups, Knight of Pentacles twice. Yeah, but they're slowly building up that courage to come in because they do want to heal things. You are their wish, Taurus. But they've got to build up that courage. to come and heal this that's why they're so slow in offering that love mm. all right so now no black cards this time i got told not to use them <laughs> they said no <"Nope." laughs> not them cards so it's just the messages what do you want to say so yeah, sometimes I get told to use them, other times I get told not to. So, yeah. Alright. What would Taurus like to say? The bottom. I don't trust you. I think you still got trust issues with this person. Because, well, things aren't healed yet. So, your energy heals me. I have always loved you and you are so hot. Wow. So you've got trust issues here because things aren't healed yet. And I think, yeah, this is something that needs to be healed. Because their energy does make you feel good, but there's, there's trust issues here that need to be healed. Um, you've always loved this person and you definitely think they're hot. That's that charisma here with the King of Wands. He's pretty hot. Or she. I think you both think each other are hot. So, hmm. But I'm sorry I lied to you, but I don't know. You'd know if you did. Love energy coming towards Taurus. What would they like to say to Taurus? At least three cards, please. One. Two. Oh, come on, speak. What do they want to say? At least one more, please. There we go, we got one more. Oh, we got an extra one. Oh, and an extra, oh, and an extra one. Alright, slide that in there because it flipped before that one jumped. And this one, balancing on my chest. Okay. So, they want to say, I've hidden my love for you. Yeah, they've had to hide their love. They've loved you this whole time, but they haven't been able to show it to you. Maybe they didn't show it to you when they were together, when you were together. I love holding you. They definitely love being in your arms. They miss that. It was hard for me to let you go, and I still don't think they have. I think it's too hard for them to let you go. Please contact me. They want you to reach out to them. Well, they desperately want to talk to you. They definitely want you to contact them. But they're preparing for this healing. So, mm. you make my skin tingle. Ooh, tingling skin. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's nice. And I'm in a codependent situation right now. Ooh, interesting. Well, that's that toxic energy here. I 
And you had that addiction too, didn't you? Or did they? Let me have a look. Yeah, it must have been them. I mean, it must have been you that had that codependency as well. So, um, yeah. Codependent situation right now. I think they're just feeling um, the guilt and shame of this toxicity that was caused between you two. They're part in it. Um, they're stuck in it. They're dwelling in it. That's the Eight of Swords that we saw up here. That they're stuck in their head about this. Um, yeah, they're really stuck in it. Stuck in that situation of that negative energy that they want to they want to clear that guilt and shame. All right, what's at the bottom? I'm afraid of commitment. Okay, I can't give you what you want. I only want to be with you, but I just want to be single. What? So what's going on here, mate? Is that why they secretly retreat? Because they don't want to face that guilt and shame of what they did. They're hiding their love, but they can't let you go. They're preparing to apologise, but mm, there's a lot of other stuff they're working on too. Still a bit, mm, still a bit guarded against commitment, I think. And they're not ready for it yet because they've got healing they need to do. Um, can't give you what, well, right now they can't give you what you want because they're stuck in their head about all the guilt and shame and the healing that needs to be done between you two. So they can't give you what you want in the state they're in, no way. Um, but they do only want to be with you. I just want to be single. I think if this doesn't work out, they'll just stay single. Maybe they're thinking because of all the guilt and shame that they're feeling, relationships are too hard. But they need to do that, you know. They've got to face up to what they did, the guilt and shame of what they did, whatever it was that was toxic, they need to deal with that. They can't just go, oh, you know. Even if they do decide to stay single, they um, definitely need to work on whatever that issue is that made them act like that in the first place. So, yeah. So they may come in to just heal things between you two. Um... But then they may retreat again because, well, the healing process is more than just between you two. I'm feeling that there's issues um, more than that. Huh, maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. Mm. Well, yeah. Hmm, alright Taurus, well that's your reading, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff, and yeah, I'll do another reading in a few days, see what's going on then, it'll be another one of these readings, we'll see what's happening, hmm, alright, well all the best, take care, good luck, and I'll catch you later.